Hi, this is Nicole Lee. I'm with Health, Beauty, and More. And as you know, we've been talking a lot about dry eyes and what you can do for it. Because people often complain of over tearing in their eyes, which they think is a good thing for lubricating their eyes. But in reality, it's, it's a symptom of dry eyes, over tearing. It's a way that the eyes are trying to compensate for a lack of tears. So the body just signals to the brain to produce more tears. And if that happens in one or both eyes, then you might want to get that looked at because I think it's it could very well be related to your dry eyes. Um, as far as diet goes on that, I haven't really gone into that too much other than um, fish type fish has a lot of fish oils in it which might be one way to um, enhance your moisturizing capability of your eyes so that you have less dryness so you might want to add fish to your diet and if you're not fond of fish then you can always substitute it with oils that are derived from fish like krill oil or any of them that have um, the omega-3 and 6 in there, including hemp seed oil. Um, hemp seed oil has sort of a nutty flavor to it. Um, that one is very tasty. Other fish oils are like the flax seed oil. That can either be taken in capsules or you can find it in the, in the oil form itself. So, uh, some people have varied results with it, depending on the severity of their dryness in their eyes. But vitamins, essential fatty acids, play a big role in people with dry eyes. Uh, hydration. I try to have water around me uh, most of the time, especially if, if I'm at home, and keep refilling that water bottle to keep your body from getting dry because it does also affect the eyes so uh, and if you wear wear contact lenses you you might notice more dryness in your eyes because they're not able to produce as many tears and coat the eye as effectively with the uh, contact lens in the eye so anyway um there's a lot of things on the market. There's something called EyeSight for healthy vision. I don't know uh, if that's one that you're familiar with, but you might want to look into that one. Some people say that it actually enhances their vision and they seem brighter and their focus and distance vision seems better. Um, I don't know, you know, if there's facts behind that, you know, if tests on, have been done on that, but it is something that you will find some testimonials on, on this particular product, EyeSight RX is what it's called, E-Y-E-S-I-G-H-T, and then RX, which stands for prescription. So try to eat a lot of uh, foods that contain these oils, as well as vitamin C and you get that through fruits, eat more vegetables and fruits and if you're looking at what can contribute to dryness uh, there's a lot of sources including the atmosphere um, having heaters running can really affect it can affect the dryness being exposed to hot, dry weather can definitely do it. Um, being inside and not outside uh, can affect your eyes a lot. And it depends on the humidity and a lot of times even the altitude. Um, and if there's smoke in the air from cooking or cigarette smoking, uh, it definitely can hurt the, the you know, tear, tear ducts from producing as many tears so you want to watch out for that because it can lead to inf inflammation of your eyes if they get too dry of course you know um 
that there's a lot of benefits for of using the proper eye drop lubricants and your eye doctor should be the one to consult on which artificial tears are good. Some people have tried tear duct plugs uh, with variable um, results. I mean, it actually can be helpful. A lot of people say that, but uh, it isn't always the answer. Uh, some of the tear ducts are the ones that produce watery tears. And the other is the oils that come from a different gland or tear duct, but it is different. Uh, it, they both work together, but sometimes they're one or both are not uh, in full function mode. But you can help with some of these things. And I believe you've heard me talk about warm packs on the eye, not hot, but warm packs. Like if you have um, no warm pack, you can make one out of a sock and a rubber band and some rice and just put it in your microwave and try not to get it hot, but maybe 20 on mine and 28 seconds is hot enough. And I don't want it hot, I want it warm. So I try to cool it off first. And afterwards, after the eyes have been warmed, you can take your your um, fingers and gently massage the eyelids. Um, also, if you're in the shower and you have some like baby shampoo, which is not gonna cause stinging, you might try rubbing the eyelids with some soap on your fingers, both eyes, and gently rub as close as you can to the uh, tear line and maybe that'll kick it kick start it a little to produce more tears but you know just have to keep keep working on these things and um, find out what works for you and uh, I sometimes take the um, cold pressed coconut oil and I keep it in a little container next to my bed and I put that on or um, keep my eye drops handy because a lot of times during the middle of the night they do get dry because I do run a fan and uh, definitely can dry them out even if your eyes are closed but having your eyes closed contributes to dry eyes blinking helps you produce more tears so a lot of blinks like this actually you'll feel your eyes start to produce a sensation of moisture and I do that even though it might look strange it does help. I hope these tips are good for you and helpful and that your dry eyes start getting more relief because you don't want to damage your precious eyes. Take care of yourself. Nicole will help you more. Bye-bye.